Hi, everybody. It's meteorologist Joe Chaffee. So let's go through uh, tonight's overnight run. I have it out far enough where I've already I've noticed a few things going on that uh, will be important down the road. And I want everybody to remember that we have an entire week of model trends to get through. But I've tried to make the point that the uh, the NAO, the North Atlantic Oscillation, uh, which basically will me measure how much blocking there is or isn't in the atmosphere, will be going negative late this coming week in time for this first weather system that will be coming out of the southwest. And how strong that blocking is or isn't is going to make a huge difference in the, into the outcome. And models seem to be reacting to that. Uh, and also the fact that while you have that going on, you have this law, this wholesale broad pattern change that's underway. So there's there's a lot of instability from run to run. And I, I really think we're going to have to wait uh, quite a while before we have a, a grip on this. But again, some early trends. And of course, we know here comes the big cold front. It's all through. We get the cold air and so on. This is the new run. And what was very interesting to me is that this run was colder. Uh, throughout the Northeast, uh, you're not going to see huge changes, but they, they, de the changes are definitely enough to raise a few eyebrows. Um, first off, I want to go back. This is, uh, before we even look at this, I want to just go back to uh, this afternoon's model run. Okay, this is for uh, Saturday morning, all right? And this has got, has low pressure. East of New Jersey, you can see that the rain ice line is way up in central New England. There isn't even any snow around because of the, the primary low here and the fact that the model was not really showing much high pressure up to the north. Now, for the same time frame, I'm going to jump to the new run now, and you're going to see the difference. Okay, uh, This is decidedly colder over us weaker features which is important and you have much more high pressure that's building across um, southeastern Canada and much like what we saw last week uh, with the uh, weather event that wound up uh, bringing cold air down to central New Jersey where we even had some 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 snowflakes over Long Island and we had ice uh, through the lower Hudson Valley and in north, northern New Jersey how important how more important the cold air was in that event and this seems to be repeating the same idea that this uh, cold air mass to the north may wind up being more important. The only difference is that this time the NAO going negative may mean that the model is perhaps uh, still underdoing the importance and how much cold air is going to be available, even though it is borderline. And then when, as we move it along, you can see the low kind of just translates straight to the east and the model wants to change it over to snow throughout much of southern New England and even into northern New Jersey, although it keeps the coast as rain. I, I wouldn't really get too wrapped up in the specifics here because, again, we are so many model runs. We have so many model runs ahead of us, and we have to see if this is just a trend or are we going to revert back to what the uh, longer range was doing uh, not too long ago which was to have it fairly cold uh, even here as low pressure went into Ohio and then gradually redeveloped uh, out to the east. So we have a little further now on the new run, and you can see that low moves out. And here comes the second one uh, that it forms here. We have low pressure up, uh, the remaining remnants of low pressure up uh, in, in uh, near Green Bay, and then this low going out. So this would be, I guess, this, this is the second event, and it has cold air dammed down into the Appalachians here. Uh, we're kind of on the edge of it. The rain snow line would be in southern New Jersey here going to the Washington, uh, just north of the Washington, D.C. area. And you can see it starts changing it over to snow in the West Virginia mountains. But this is way too early in the game for the uh, event that people were talking about for the 12th. So uh, again, this is, a, a sh this is beginning to show up, uh, something we're going to pay attention to. I'm just going to widen this out so we can look at this on the perspective so that we can see more of southern Canada. And I'm going to go back just a little bit here. And you can see how that high is much more sprawling uh, on this particular run than it was on the prior run. So uh, we'll be watching uh, some trends to see how they play out. 
and uh, we'll be, of course, keep you posted on all this, and we'll put together a long-range post for you uh, during the day on Sunday as we watch uh, the events transpire over the next coming days.